Hi, this is Dick Rochfort. Thanks for joining me. I want to discuss today the uh, the OBS button on the Garmin 530-430 series uh, GPSs. Uh, this uh, button is uh, probably not very well understood. I get a lot of questions about it, and so uh, let's let's take a minute to first define it, and then talk about a couple of uh, good ways. Uh, to use the OBS button. Now you may remember from your primary instrument training days the uh, the little round uh, knob at the uh, VOR head on the uh, aircraft you were flying that had the wor the letters OBS on it. Um, and and basically this button on the Garmin creates a a set of circumstances where you can use your fancy HSI or EHSI uh, just the same way. It's an omni bearing selector, OBS. Essentially, anytime you're going somewhere from one place to another and uh, you want to go there on a particular bearing, you can use OBS. Uh, the first order of battle would be to uh, put the heading bug to the lubber line and switch to heading so that as you set set up the OBS the airplane doesn't turn until you're ready for it to do so. The next would be to uh, highlight the fix you want to go to or from and press direct enter enter. Now this then draws a magenta line from the aircraft directly to that waypoint. Incidentally this uh, could be any waypoint in the database. It could be one that you have created uh, once you've got the uh, uh, the aircraft lined up with the magenta line uh, and your your present position direct, now then press the OBS button. By so doing, you create a set of circumstances whereby you can then turn the course needle and select the bearing to or from that station. Let's take an example now where uh, you've been you've departed Islip and you're a bit receiving vectors, you've been told to fly a heading of uh, 450, which you're doing, and uh, when able, intercept the 089 degree radial of Islip. All I've done is taken the, uh, press the OBS button, and taken the course needle, and turned it to 089 that draws a magenta line to Islip on a bearing of 089 and the white line extends from Islip. Now a little known fact is that if you engage uh, nav at this point and you fly toward that line, Garmin will actively uh, capture that line and fly it outbound. And we'll see that here in just a second. Of course, with your autopilot, you can you can actually fly the heading and arm the nav, and and that will keep you on your uh, uh, assigned heading until the course needle comes alive. Once the course needle comes alive, it will turn and and fly outbound on the line. Remember, there are three steps to this process. First, establish yourself present position direct to the fix you're referencing, and then secondly, light the OBS enunciator with the OBS button, and then thirdly, turn the course needle to the desired uh, bearing. Uh, when the aircraft is in motion and the course is alive, uh, Garmin will go ahead and capture that. Now, this is but one use for the OBS, and it's uh, quite a good one. It saves fiddling with uh, VOR signals, and it's more accurate. Now, another question that I frequently get is, well, sometimes I'm told to fly a particular radial and intercept another radial. And I know there's an intersection there, but the um, I never remember what it is, and or the controller never tells me what the intersection is. Well, you know, if, if the controller's willing to tell you, that's probably the easiest way. But... Uh, that's sometimes not the case. There may not be time. 
So uh, once you're established on a particular line, as, as we are about to be here with a centered needle, we're going to repeat the process for the other fix. Let's say that uh, we're intercepting the, uh, oh, uh, let's say that's the, uh, uh, the Groton uh, uh, 060, uh, correction, the Groton uh, 240 inbound is what we want to intercept. First, drag the heading bug up to the lower line and switch to heading. This makes the aircraft stay wings level on on the white line, which is what we want it to do. We go to flight plan. Now we have we have to put Groton in there, or somehow you know we have have to get it in there. So if you want it right after Islip, which I believe would be appropriate, let's cover HTO and then begin typing here. And uh, uh, so we'll just put it in G O N. Once it's in, all we do is cover it, hit direct, enter, enter. Go back to OBS and then turn the course needle for the 240 degree. Oops, let's make it, uh, let's make it uh, the 190 radial inbound toward Groton. Now to do that, we put the tail of the needle on 190. This means that if we use the nav feature, the airplane is going to turn to the left. It's going to turn toward the head of the needle. So as the airplane approaches, it will turn uh, with the nav loaded uh, and armed and, uh, and proceed toward Groton. Once it gets to Groton, it's going to cross. And then uh, we we're going to want it to sequence to the next fix. Um, one of the features of OBS is that it, it stops the sequencing. So if you want Garmin to do the next thing, you must take it out of OBS. If you have a manual HSI like this one, then you'll have to physically turn the needle to the next course. Now the needle's alive, so I'm going to go ahead and activate the nav, which will of course be done automatically for you. And now the airplane's going to turn the correct way. So that's how you might consider crossing a radial uh, and intercepting a crossing radial. Uh, there are also ways of doing that with two Garmin's. Again, that's beyond the scope of this short video. But uh, uh, if you care to, give me a call or tap me out an email, and I'd be glad to help you. Well, there you have it. That's the basics on OBS. I hope you uh, get to use this feature. It's very useful and very helpful. And uh, why, if you have comments or questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Dick Rochefort. Fly safely. Train often.